Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I am joined by Joe Edwards here at the Expressing Star. Joe, a uh, bit of a shock move linked with Wolves today. Uh, Tyler Roberts, the uh, online Warsaw striker, obviously an Albion prodigy. Yeah. Uh, could he really fit in at Wolves? There's potential there because obviously he's been getting um, rave reviews uh, for Warsaw in League One. Very much a similar situation at Shrewsbury mm -hmm. uh, last season as well. Um, very much kind of looks a you know a class above in that league. Mm -hmm. um, obviously very young, um, still a teenager. Um, obviously highly very thought, very highly thought of at Albion. They'll be looking to tie something up, but this kind of you know this. The fact that they haven't tied something up in terms of a new contract is obviously catching the attention of clubs, Walls being one of them. Mm -hmm. um, he's very much a lad with talent, um, very pacey, very tricky. Um, you know, he, he's one he's one that would kind of tick the boxes, but he, he, he would add to a, you know a wealth of um, you know talented attacking players at Wolves mm -hmm. already. Um, wherever he'd be, one that would automatically challenge for a place in that wall side. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but in terms of if they could, you know, they'd be looking to snap him up on a big contract, you know, a five year kind of thing if it would be if it did come to fruition. And uh, it'd very much be, you know, one for the future definitely. Yeah, let's say Wolves do do go up this season, obviously top of the table right now. Would there be any any way you could try and get some Premier League minutes? I mean, we haven't really seen that often for Albion. We haven't seen him often for Albion and the there is you know, there is question marks. Obviously, he's, do, he's done well in League One. He's played for Oxford as well in League One. and it, Everybody says good things about him. Um, but we yet to see him in the Championship. Um, you know, it, it would... You know, there's always an element of risk involved with any move. But this this one, you know, he has got a, you know, a tremendous upside. But the, the, there, is, there is a risk there. He's very green still. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of learning to do. Um... The interest doesn't surprise me because he has been, you know, he has been turning heads. Um, but in terms of at the moment, we need to look at the attacking players that Wolves have got. Obviously, Yotta, Bonatini in fine form. Still got Liza Helder Costa. Helder who's, Costa. Who's not doing it right now. Cavalero, who you know can be bang at it one week and then you know almost you know don't know it's in the next. But mm. in terms of you know if it was a January kind of thing. I struggle to see him getting right in the team right now. Mm -hmm. But in terms of you know, if, I think there'd be a kind of a more long term uh, aim in mind. Yeah, it would certainly irk a lot of Albion fans as well. well Wolves, Wolves and Albion, they're not the best of friends. No, and the the thing is with Albion, they they they'll want to be seeing somebody young local lad getting in the side. And I mean, obviously, Saido did a few years ago, mm -hmm. and that all turned a bit sour. But in terms of actually having someone, you know, come through the academy and really make a mark on the side, there've been very few and far between at Albion in these mm. last couple of years. I mean, there's Ayo Brown upstick for upsticks for Chelsea, yeah. um, and I mean, you know, Sawyer's had a that showed a bit and then ended up, you know, moving on to Warsaw. So mm. they'll be disappointed if if they can't keep hold of him because he's probably their biggest chance of having a breakout star. Yeah. So uh, a, a link. With a shock move for Roberts, for all the latest on that, make sure you stick with expressingstar.com.